So one, two, three. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This looks amazing. I'm I'm seeing the texture. Just see the result. I'm I'm it's it's mind blowing, man. It's mind blowing. Will AI take over the 3D artist? That's a scary question and I have this question today for you guys so you can just add a comment and tell your opinion. So this video is about AI creating 3D models for us. It sounds really scary because 3D modeling is pretty long process and we spent years and years to just learn that but now AI can do it in just a few clicks and just by adding the text and the prompts so so let's first enjoy what ai can do now and in the comment section you guys can share your opinion so now let's get started okay so we are here at our browser and we will search for meshi dot ai so let's just enter that and we will get the first link or i will put a link in the description so you can just check that directly so click on that and then try meshi for free so it gives you some free credit it's like 175 credits and you can create one model with 20 or something so yeah you can create like five to seven models i think so yeah so you have to enter your google account so i'm just signing in with my account really quickly continue Okay, now it uh, give you a little information so you can just um, click on any of the below that you have. So I'm a 3D artist so I will click on that. Then next I'm at the gaming field so I will click on that. And it's only me using the website so only me. And next here we can just enter your um, how did you hear about this tool so it's probably YouTube if you are following it from my YouTube from my video so yeah YouTube and submitted that and I also um, got this on a YouTube video so yeah so now we are here and as you can see all the models that you can see these are created it with this website so you can just add your prompts and this will convert it into a 3d model and some of them are really optimized and it looks really good so you can just explore that um, soon it will have a huge library where you can just find things that ready made and you can just use that but the best thing is that you can you you can create your own 3d model with your own imagination and text that you want so we can just do that so here i have 200 credits and i will click on so we have a bunch of options text to 3d AI texturing, image to 3D, and text to voxel. So we'll start from the text to 3D and click on that. And here we have a simple uh, prompt space where we can give the prompts. Here we have to add the negative prompts. And then we have to choose an art style. Uh, like in, we can do with the auto, realistic, cartoon, and lupuli. And yeah, number up seeds, we can do that. So, but for now, it just don't need it. Just leave the rest of it for that and let's try adding a prompt so i would say a, a cute dragon of black color and green eyes okay so that's a simple thing what we don't need here is uh, there is nothing that we don't need it but you can give some prompts like it shouldn't be a blur or that kind of stuff but we can just it's optional so we can just leave it as empty and here we have to decide the art style so i would give for i would uh, make this one for the auto one so you can just experiment with that the low poly one is exactly the low poly so it's um we can use that in game i will show you uh, some example for that i already did some on another profile so i will show you that also but let's just give it for an auto and let's click on generate 
and now it will take some time normally it takes like uh, one minute to two minutes so we will wait for that until that you can subscribe to the channel and hit a like if you haven't till now and now let's wait for the model and here we have four variation of our dragon which are already looking super super cool and as you can see the, the model and the proportions are really good uh, it have some errors and the texture is blur for now but we can definitely improve this by just refining that but let's just first see the four variations and i'm loving it it's it's super cool okay so it will take 20 credits to refine this one so we have to choose any of that um i think i love this one or maybe this one yeah the first one this is looking really good so just click on refine uh, it will take some time again it will start generating it and it will improve the texture now it's looking a bit locally and uh, like the texture is pretty blur so it will fix that and create a whole new texture for it but okay so it have some more options too let me just quickly show you that until that it will do the refined version so here we can see the mesh on the first one so it's that mesh and it's here is the material turn on and off so it's looking like this okay we have some display setting we can turn off the grid and do the auto rotation if we want it so it's the turntable of the model um, that's the statistic that as you can see it's having like uh, 27k vertex so you can just turn on and off that uh, it's the PBR and the simple color texture so you can just add metallic and that kind of stuff and yeah this looks really good okay we have to turn on the background I really like this one so you can just see that also you can change the strength and it have a bunch of more options um, okay so our model is about to refine and we will wait some more time and then you can see the result so we are done with the result and now i am going to preview that and i'm super excited for it and let's just see that so one two three oh my god oh my god oh my god this looks amazing i'm i'm seeing the texture and the details it have a, a bunch of like errors like this but yeah overall the whole design and everything is super super great i'm loving it i think it is coming soon to take over the whole thing so yeah <laughs> this is brilliant oh my god this is brilliant so we would refine this one also because i love all of them i literally love all of them so let's just refine also this one and let's just see what happens and until that what you can do is that we can add some other pops so let me just just change this one to a what we can do like okay so let's just try this one a warrior girl with sword and armor suit okay and let's do the realistic one again and let's click on generate so it will do the both task at the same time so it's uh, also refining the dragon one and also creating some new things here so let's just now wait for the result and here as you can see the result it's again giving us four of the variations and again i think all of them are looking so good i i think like just just see that it's it's a proper design with costume and the sword and everything that have so again we will pick one and just refine that as you can see it have some problems with the hands and that kind of stuff uh, 
but just see that it's it's not even the full version it's in beta version so yeah definitely if the final version comes that would be like it will fix a lot of stuff so i think this one looks cool and let's now generate that so generate and until that our dragon has been finished so just click on that and yeah Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Just see the result. I'm I'm it's it's mind blowing man. It's mind blowing. Whoa. And just see the texture that how it did the UV and everything just so good. Uh, it's not perfect. There are problems. I'm saying it again and again, but yeah, soon it will be a perfect model. So yeah, that's it. I think um, I don't have words, man. This is we are living in the future where we don't need to just do the extrude kind of stuff, sculpt, retopo, then substance painter and all the stuff. No, just write and you get what you wanted. Okay, so you can just explore um, all of the options that we have. So it have the low poly one. Um, quickly, I will show you a few models that I already did with the uh, different tools. Uh, but before that, let me show you the refined version of our um, 3D Girl Warrior. So just see that. Okay, we are done with that and just click. and here we have wow <laughs> this this looks super super fantastic wow i think this is amazing okay so now let's just see the other models that we have so i would click on my assets and then text to 3 and here we have so i just created a low poly tree um, as you can see this one so the best thing in this one is that uh, I choose the low poly category the art style and it have a low poly mesh there okay and I also did another dragon here and yeah this was also looking cool uh, but the one here this one it's pretty low poly and we can actually use this one at our game too so I think yeah that's pretty pretty much it for this video um, in the next one, we will actually exploring the texture tool of our AI. So it have a new feature. Uh, we can actually upload our 3D model and AI will automatically texture that. So it's looking super cool. And soon I will be uploading a video on that. So just subscribe to this channel. So you get uh, more interesting videos on 3D and digital stuff. And for now, bye.